Hi, welcome again to another episode of Lost in Woods Pacific Northwest. I'm Lawrence, the host. I've been working on a couple of things over the last couple of weeks, and I'm excited to share them with you today. So stay tuned. I've made a new pond on the property, added some fish, and uh, some property damage that's happened too. So very, very exciting things to watch for. Stay tuned. All right, well, here's the start of the pond. It was actually a natural um, kind of pond anyways that uh, is here in the rainy season. And I've just been digging it out over the last couple of weeks. That's why there wasn't a video last week. I wasn't able to get done in time. But uh, as you can see here, I have deepened the hole and I've ordered a tarp, a very large 13 by 20, uh, not tarp, I'm sorry, but a ground cover for ponds. There you go, there it is, the pond liner. And um, over time, I've been filling it <laughs> with my water as well as it's been raining quite a lot here in the Pacific Northwest. You can see that uh, I have surrounded it with uh, trying to make it look as natural as possible. So I left as much of the vegetation around it and kind of tried to interweave it between all of that. Uh, recently, I've added an actual pump, an aerator pump that's solar powered because this is at the very back of my property. And this is going to help keep it uh, aerated for the fish to come. And you can see a little cute little, uh, another solar powered fountain that I have there too. So, anyways, the fish have arrived this week and I put them in as well. And they're just having a great time. And you might wonder what kind of fish am I using? I'm using mosquito fish. There's the uh, solar pump, by the way, right there. The reason I'm using solar is, again, because of the fact that the property is so long, I didn't really, I couldn't justify the expense of putting electricity all the way out here just for my little natural pond. So that's part of the reason. Well, the pond is almost getting full now. If you remember my original pond, I got a cute little light for that little fountain and LED light changes and I think it's real beautiful. We also had some damage on the property over the last couple of weeks down at the beach's edge. A large large tree came over the beach from my neighbor's property basically across the whole edge of my beach. So it's okay it's gonna make for some fun kayaking when the tides are up and I'm out kayaking it'll have my own little jungle retreat under the beach. But I do plan on getting out there this weekend and clearing some of it uh, safely, of course. That's about all we've been doing here in Lawson Woods. I hope you uh, have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.